Hi everyone, this is a video for the Cesarovic weekend and I think most of the subscribers know that we're on a bit of a wealth warning at the moment after three good years we're not having the best of flat seasons so far and I am reasonably good at the flat as well I'd say just as good as at the jumps although I've not proved it yet so today we're going to have a bet in the Cesarovic to try and right the wrongs of Pondis and Santiago both who were heavily backed and uh, one selection for the races at York and a selection for tomorrow at Limerick uh, who I was going to make the first uh, jumps bet of the season but price is probably not quite what I'd hoped for. So uh, getting on to it all because it's uh, I, I don't like my videos to be too long. So we've lost on Pondis and on Santiago so far this season and the bets are minus £100. I set aside a bank of 400 for the flat season. I'll not bet that much, but I'd like to try and get some of the losses back. And I fancied uh, Dalton Highway all week for this. Uh, Cesarovic, the 335 at Newmarket. And he's a big price at 25 to 1. Of course, he's got 33 other rivals to beat. And it's not going to be easy. That's why he's 25 to 1. There's a huge gamble going on on Jukebox Jive, who beat him. Uh, at Nace, um, over 1 mile 6. Now, Jukebox Jive just got a run at the time where Dalton Highway didn't get one, and I thought he was staying on just as strongly as Jukebox Jive. And although he's £2 worse off, I think Dalton Highway, with a stable in form now, and a really, really good book, uh, jockey booking in Tom Marcand, I just think Dermot Weld is in a lot better form now. He's had um, three winners this week. He had the big winner in France, Tarnawa, and he also won so, uh, Search for a Song, won the Irish St. Ledger. So he's back in form, and Dermot Well taking a horse over here for Dr. Lamb with Tom Marcand on board. I think he's a huge price at 25 to 1, I really do, and uh, I'm having £25, of my, £25 each way in my bank on him, so another £50, that'll put us 150 out of the bank staked. 100 lost, so hopefully he's going to at least get placed here. It's six places with uh, bet 365, a quarter of the odds, so at six to one the place. Um, that would return about 181 or so, and hopefully hopefully he can do the business because I, I think he's got a really good chance. Um, like I said, he was not far behind Jukebox Jive that day, and he didn't get the run of the race, and Jukebox Jive did. And I think the stable will be in a lot better form. He's got a good chance. Of course, they've all got some sort of chance and he's got 33 to beat, so it's not going to be easy. He can get eight places with Skybet and seven places with Paddy Power. They're 22 to one. But with a fifth, it makes a big difference on your place terms. So I would just go for the six places. I did worry about the fact that he might be held up too far off the pace, but I think Mercand will be a bit wise to that. And... Uh, He'll probably keep him a bit closer to the pace because nothing was coming from behind yesterday. Um, so £25 each way out the bank on Dalton Highway at 25 to 1 with bet 365. I think he's pretty overpriced and with Weld, uh, Weld in form and Marcan booked, he's got as good a chance as anything else in the race. Um, in the 235, I'm really swinging for the home run here with a shake in the 235 at York. He's a horse who's been on my radar for a wee while now. He's, I don't think he's really been putting it all in. Now, I'm not sure if that's because he's not been able to or if he's just regressed. But 16-1, to 1, I know he's against some improving three-year-olds here, but he's a huge price if he puts it all in. And I think if he's ridden closer to the pace today, the way he ran on at Chester under Rachel Richardson with David Allen back on board now. I think 16 to 1. I was hoping for 20s and I still think you might get that. And I think you could have one of those races where it's a stunned silence, although it's closed doors. You know, one of those Tim Mystery win winners that stuns the, the whole place into silence. And I think he could be one of them. I think you might get 20 to 1, four places. I think he's a good selection. He's not a bet out of the bank, but he's a good selection. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and over at Limerick tomorrow in the Munster National I thought I'd dug one out that no one noticed 
walk away of Henry de Bromids is running in the Munster National. I thought he'd go for the Troy Town, and I was ready to have my first anti post bet of the jump season on him. But he's coming here, he's only six to one, which is disappointing. <coughs> <coughs> but he's off one three six. I mean, he's been in against Alaho, Fohain, etc., etc. His race against Champ over hurdles, he was fantastic. I just think at six to one, he's he's a big price, but is he fit? Because a lot of these have had a run, so I'd only be prepared to go in on him win. So he was my only horse that I was looking to follow over the national hand. The rest I would be waiting to see how they run, and then getting involved after. But walk away was a horse I wanted to be with first time out because I thought. He's got to exploit a mark of one three six, and I really thought it would be in the Troy Town, but he goes for the Munster National six to one with William Hill, Lord Brooks, and Paddy Power. He's a definite selection, and he would have been the first uh, jumps bet of the season if he'd been a bit better priced. But six to one is really not what I was looking for. So today's video uh, has our third flat bet of the season: twenty five pound each way, Dalton Highway in the three thirty five. A new market, 25 to 1, six places with 365, and two selections in the 235 at York, Arshek at 16 to 1 each way, and tomorrow at Limerick in the 4 o'clock, the Munster National, walk away 6 to 1, just a win selection. So the only real bet out of the bank, Dalton Highway, with two selections. Thanks for watching, I wish you a good weekend, and remember I'm not in good form, so don't be going mad on these, but hopefully we can turn round the flat season which started brilliantly has has really struggled lately but hopefully we can turn it around today so thanks for watching and bye for now